Yo guys, what's going on? Welcome back in another tutorial. Today I'm just going to um, show you how to do a simple but easy item slow-mo which isn't very hard to do and also I will be including some pretty insane overlays which are used by a lot of professional editors behind their items to just spice up your edit editing and your start of your edit um anyways let's get into vegas and i will show you what this is all about okay so now i'm in vegas pro and i got my first clip synced up and just get rid of the audio um what you want to do is you want to first grab your ident and drag it in the uh, most upper video layer so the top video layer and there you put your ident uh, right click properties and just get rid of the background by putting the alpha channel you will need to render it an alpha channel to remove the background though so keep that in mind um, go to the point where you think it should start then find where the ident is completely off screen mark it there and call it oh wait i removed the marker sorry guys mark it there and call it ident end get rid of the and just split it right there pre-render it and there you have your ident now what you want to just go ahead and do is um go on to the part of the clip where you split it at the end of the ident so the first part of the clip and just go about pick get a, a little bit more than one third of the clip and split it right there delete the other part hold control on your keyboard the control key it might say control or ctrl hold it in and just drag it and as you can see it will time stretch it that's what this function is called it's called time stretch which basically will just stretch your clip over time making this clip really smooth and slow to make it even smoother um, right click on it and go to properties and make sure you force resample Normally, I don't uh, suggest you do this, but this blends all the frames together to make it smoother, just like Twixter or Time Remap in After Effects. So click OK. Now we watch it. It's really, really smooth. <laughs> Next thing we want to just go ahead and do is drag the opacity down or opacity down to like 30-ish percent. Go to video fix and find brightness and contrast and just put, uh, get it darker. Drag that on there and that looks really good. Also, you just want to put your own beat shake right there or any other preset of a beat shake you like right there now as you can see we have a smooth slow-mo next up what we want to go ahead and do is just grab a simple overlay from the pack which i will link down below which i will show you guys right now okay guys so this right here is the pack available for download down below in the description um pretty good in my opinion it's quite easy to do um you just want to download it from the drive down below and uh, i'll show you guys how to use them in sony vegas so let's put this on the side and get vegas open so you are here again left with your project um drag one in you like i like this one uh, get rid of the audio track and just go in here in these three little more edit visible button sets and click show all and then just go on this right there where it says compositing mode go 
go into that and put it onto screen and drag just dra drag it down a little which will which will leave you eventually with it which it, which will eventually eventually sorry guys um leave you, leave you with this uh, little background um i suggest you drag down the opacity a little or opacity a little so you can just see the item just a bit better but it still has some nice animation on the side also you want to just fade it in and if it's too bright you can also put this not on to uh, I mean you can change it from screen to add which will make it a little different but I like screen for this the, this one the most and also fade it out <laughs> So that when the item comes in, you have this slow-mo and you have the overlays. Also, you have multiple, so you can just pick one you like. Um, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any ideas or where I should make a tutorial on, just drop them down below. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next tutorial.